How to update your iCloud storage payment method. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to walk you through how you can change or update your monthly payment method for iCloud storage. It's a pretty straightforward process, and it's important to know how to do it especially when you need to switch to a different payment method. Let's dive in. What is iCloud? iCloud is a cloud storage service provided by Apple that allows you to store data such as documents, photos, and music on remote servers for download to iOS, macOS, or Windows devices, and to share and send data to other users. Please note, iCloud storage plan charges are billed to you each month. And if you need to change the payment method used for these charges, you can do so quite easily. Where can I update my payment method? The payment method for your iCloud storage plan is based on your Apple ID payment information. So to update your payment method, you need to update the payment method tied to your Apple ID. This can be done on your iPhone, iPad, or Mac. Updating payment method on iPhone or iPad. Here are the steps to change your payment method on an iPhone or iPad. 1. Open settings on your device. 2. Tap on your name at the top, then tap on Payment and Shipping. 3. You might be asked to sign in with your Apple ID. 4. To add a payment method, tap Add Payment Method. 5. To update a payment method, tap the payment method, then edit your information. 6. After making the changes, tap Save or Done. Updating Payment Method on Mac If you're using a Mac, Follow these steps. 1. Open App Store. 2. Click on your name or the sign in button at the bottom of the sidebar. 3. Click View Information. 4. Next to Payment Information, click Manage Payments. If you're using an older version of macOS, you'll click Edit instead. 5. Now you can add, remove, or update your payment methods. There you go. Now you know how to change or update your iCloud storage payment method. It's a good idea to ensure that your payment method is always up to date to prevent any service interruptions. Remember, the changes you make will apply to all subscriptions tied to your Apple ID. If you found this guide helpful, please share it with others. Thanks for watching.